Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Manish Bapaye. I am a veterinary surgeon and I practice in city of Nasik in Maharashtra. I have been in practice of veterinary surgery for last 15 years uh, since year 2005. Uh, it was two, three years back that I faced a patient who received injury to the eye uh, while working in a laboratory and he had a large glass foreign body in his vitreous cavity. Intraoperatively, while doing the surgery, uh, it was very difficult to remove such a large foreign body. I could lift it a couple of times uh, with the disposable snare that I made with a 4-0 uh, uh, Vicryl suture. However, it was very difficult to hold it before while taking it out from the limbus. And that was when I started thinking about methods how we can deal with such uh, non-magnetic and large foreign bodies. As we all know, penetrating trauma can ha happen uh, and the foreign body can get impacted in any part of the eye, right from the eyelid, subconjunctival space, anterior chamber, to lens, to vitreous cavity. And in vitreous cavity, most of the times, it's a metallic foreign body, usually small, like chips of metal, which can be removed easily with existing devices and uh, with magnets. <clears throat> However, things get tricky when the foreign bodies are large, when they are made of glass or non-metallic particles, when the foreign bodies are spherical. And in such scenarios, uh, a vitreoretinal surgeon is put in a difficult situation because after the vitrectomy is done and the foreign body is, uh, is able to move on the retinal surface and if it it is difficult to grab and take it out to the pupillary plane before, before taking it out of the eye, we can lead to retinal trauma with the foreign body falling repeatedly on the retinal surface. And if it, as we all understand, if it happens in the macular area, then it is going to have a very poor visual prognosis in a potentially good prognosis case. <clears throat> so that was when uh, we decided uh, to, you know, do something about it. and. Uh, I worked with uh, industry, Mr. Mati Namin of Epsilon and initially we thought of making a basket like design which is based on Dormia basket which is used in urology. My father being a urologist, he had suggested why don't you work on a device like that. However, what we realized was if we use a basket like design, it you need bimanual uh, handling of the foreign body, the foreign body needs to be engaged bimanually into the basket. So, we finalized on a design what we call claw. So, this design has a, a for, it's a forceps which has a titanium handle and a metallic cylinder and it has four uh, prongs made of nitinol uh, which can be retracted and uh, ca can be pushed out with a, a knob. Uh, the difference from existing devices is that the prongs open wide up to eight and a half to nine millimeters. So, we can grab potentially large foreign bodies uh, in the vitreous cavity. Now, any person who is doing a trauma surgery will realize that the challenge is to hold the foreign body in the mid vitreous cavity or in the pupillary plane before taking it out of the eye when the foreign body is large and not amenable to devices which are already present. Claw solves that problem. The <coughs> Foreign body can be lifted from the vitrectomized eye. We can approach it in anteroposterior direction. So, even if the foreign uh, the foreign body is moving on the retinal surface, uh, we we can grab it in the from anteroposterior direction. A foreign body which is spherical can also be easily picked up. Actually, uh, Dr. Natarajan who was my co-author, Dr. Mahesh Shanmugam again co-author to the paper, uh, used it in Kashmir pellet trauma injuries, patients who received pellet trauma and had fo pellet foreign bodies in the eye. It was very difficult prior to claw to take these foreign bodies out of the eye. 
however once the clock could be used it was relatively easy so that was i think the greatest benefit that the claw has served uh, in uh, vitro retinal scenario uh, now of course the claw is quite well accepted by vitro retinal fraternity and i feel it is a great tool for a person who's involved in trauma surgeries i myself had an opportunity to uh, take out a few foreign bodies which are uh, which are actually very large and i'm sure before uh, cl i had claw it would have, would have been very difficult and surgery would have been very prolonged but it could be done fairly easily uh, La it was uh, last year the uh, conference that i received an award for this uh, rakesh sharma memorial award of all india ophthalmic society and since then this paper has been uh, has been uh, presented and also been published in indian journal of ophthalmology so i would uh, suggest or i can uh, ask every vitro retinal surgeon who is involved in trauma surgery who deals with lot of foreign bodies people who are working in uh, war zone uh, injuries uh, who deal with war zone injuries they can have a serious look at this particular device uh, a couple of tips uh, for while using the device is that the the prongs of this device open very wide as vitro retinal surgeons we are uh, uh, we, we are used to opening prongs of our forceps like ilm peeling forceps very close to retinal surface while here as soon as the entry is done in the vitreous cavity from the sclerotomy we should start opening the prongs and then gauge uh, how much opening is required before we approach the foreign body trying to open the prongs very close to the retina can lead to retinal trauma inadvertently so i think this is a very important point that we should be uh, keeping in mind while using the forceps other than that i think it works very well in cases of glass foreign bodies it can remove the glass foreign bodies without splintering them it can work very well in uh, spherical foreign bodies like pellets we have seen uh, and even like large stones etc which i had opportunity to remove uh, it has been a privilege journey uh, since i started developing that it, i have received a lot of uh, uh, appreciation and praise from the fraternity and i am thankful to one and all including all india ophthalmic uh, society for uh, recognizing it in the form of award thank you